This video is about how to build a central heating power flusher with a submersible dirty water pump. Power flushing is used to clean heating systems that are blocked with sludge and corrosion deposits in order to restore system circulation and efficiency. The power flusher is connected to the heating system and it pumps water and cleaning chemicals at a high velocity which helps to free any deposits. The direction of flow can also be reversed which also helps to loosen deposits and finally the water is filtered to remove the deposits from the system. The first component of the power flusher is a water reservoir. This is a 25 litre or 5 gallon container with a lid. Through the side of the container I've inserted a water inlet for connection to the mains water supply. The parts for this are a tank connector, 15 mm copper pipe, washing machine tap and a hose adapter. The next component is the dirty water pump. The things to look for are the flow rate, basically the higher the better. This one is 13,500 litres per hour. The maximum delivery height depending on how high you will need to pump and also the maximum operating temperature. The hose I'm using is clear 25mm or 1 inch inside diameter braided PVC hose. 19mm or 3 quarter inch would also be a good option and possibly easier to handle. Four 22mm full bore valves are used to control the direction of the water flow and a fifth valve is used to control dumping the water to a drain. Soldering T-connectors are used and the hoses fitted directly to them with PTFE tape and hose clamps. A more secure method would be to use hose barb adapters. I have used two 5 meter lengths of braided hose and adapters to connect into the central heating system. 1 meter lengths of copper pipe are used when directly hot flushing a boiler. The final part of the system is a filter. It is optional but as well as removing debris it also shows you how well the power flusher is working. I have tried several different filters but ultimately a simple mechanical mesh filter was the most effective. The filter body is a washing powder container with holes drilled in the lid and base. The hose is attached to the lid with a 21.5mm tank connector. Net mesh material is used as the filter screen and is held in place by screwing the lid back onto the body. For improved performance you can also strap a neodymium magnet to the outside. Once the system is connected together and to the system using the adapters the valves are operated in the following way. Initially the blue dump valve is turned off, the two blue direction valves are turned off and the two red direction valves are turned on. To change the flow direction all of the valves are turned off and the two blue direction valves are turned on. This reverses the direction and also creates a surge at the same time which helps to clean the system. To empty dirty water into the drain open the dump valve. When the level in the container is depleted then you can top it up by opening the water inlet valve. So good luck cleaning your system, make sure you wear hand and eye protection and if you want to see more videos like this the subscribe button's over there on the right. Thanks for watching.